story of my life. So, Kata Airways delayed for two hours in Accra. And because of that, when I got to Doha, the flight from Doha to Cape Town left me behind. So this is how I spent my 24 hours in Doha. Stay to relax and enjoy. I'm getting a taxi to go and explore the art museum, the Doha Art Museum. I hope it's a very nice place. Just got to Qatar. At this point, I had run for hours. I was so exhausted, but I was still hoping that I would make it for the flights. But unfortunately, I didn't. And whatever God does is good. But me, it's <laughs> So despite missing my flight, I had the privilege to take it and so Qatar Airways gave me three meals voucher which I could use to eat anything in the airport just before um, the took us to our hotel. So that is what I was in and if you know me, you know that I'm a pasta noodle person so your girl went for pasta. I can't come and kill myself. I have missed my flights. It doesn't it's in me and it is the end of the world. I had to enjoy my food. Yeah, so that was it. So whatever got that is good. Just look at this pretty and amazing airport. Yeah, I took a picture with this though some time ago. I'm going back to it. This teddy bear is one of the famous sites at Hamad International Airport. So if you don't take a picture with it, then you have not been there. <laughs> yeah, no, so I, I missed my flights because there was a delay in my country. So like almost everyone from Ghana going to any other places. Like we've missed our flight. So we have like 24 hours safe. Ghana, Ghana, if they talk like the... Uh, the Nigerians, Nigerians yes. yes. <laughs> Have a nice day. You too. Nice so I'll be back. I'm just going to explore the city. I'll be back. Oh, no. Oh, okay. All right. Which country are you from? I'm from Kenya. Kenya. No, okay. East Africa. Nice. I'm sure you're wondering how I got out of the airport. Well, so, um, as part of the rules in Kamal International Airport, you cannot stay in the airport for more than 24 hours. So because we miss our flight, they help us acquire a visa, which is called a higher visa. That way you can go out of the airport and come back because my flight to Cape Town was in about 24 hours. So I needed that visa to move out of Qatar to the hotel and also to explore. At this point, we're out and fortunately for me, I got a Ghanaian uber driver he was very nice he recommended most of the tourist sites i went to me he told me to be very careful because some of the drivers are really not good and because it's my first time they will want to cheat me and all that i really enjoyed this trip i don't know <laughs> it wasn't planned but it happened and i think i'm so grateful for the experience and I would like to say that if you're going, you're traveling and then you're transiting, sometimes go with extra money because you can't really predict what will happen if you miss your flights, etc. Because this gave me the opportunity to get a 30 day visa to enter Qatar. And look at the country, it's so beautiful. Look at their roads, like, literally in love with the road. The environment very serene, quiet. There are no police people around. Like, but then one thing the, the driver told me is that there are speedometers hidden somewhere. So if you go beyond 
your speed limit by the time you get home <laughs> just like us your ticket will be waiting for you i really enjoy this place it's very beautiful and like sanitation in qatar is 100 percent. it's a 10 over thing it's so the environment is clean you even see dust Here's where he told me where to go to. I'm so grateful for him. First, we went to National Museum after now for Islamic Art. Okay. Now, we to after we went to Miyako to airport. So, we go around the time. That's This is like today. And so, Ode, maybe I'll post that thing. I'll be like. But, walking distance. So, we take it pictures now. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. From where to where uh, maybe a five minutes walking. Oh, okay. And I have a beautiful view. Yeah. I Amy, mean, I really love this driver because he could have opted to take the money. He just helped me save money. Hi, what else do you want? If not this, I really, really love like my stay. And I'm, I don't, I've I forgot to like ask him of his name and all that, but you know, sometimes God intentionally plays angels at certain important places to help you in your desperation. So grateful to that driver. So the entrance fee to most of the tourist sites in Qatar is about 50 real and I didn't have reals on me so I had to go to the bank, go and change dollars into real and then head off to my first destination and that was the Qatar Islamic Arts Museum. You're going to love it. Like I, I, I used to think that Ghana is the only place where you find woven mats, but then Kata blew my mind away. Just wait, I'll just show you the place. Uh -huh. So this is the entrance to the Islamic Art Museum. I really, really love this place. Okay, I've been to so many tourist sites, but none can be compared to Kata tourist sites. I love the intentionality in conserving their heritage and keeping their tourist sites clean. Look at this. I mean, even if you don't want to enter into the tourist site to explore what is within, the environment is, is perfect for pictures, videos, and what have you. I just pray that um, Ghana we learn from them and conserve our heritage and tourist sites to be as beautiful as this. Look at this, it's so attractive. Tell me, who wouldn't want to come here? I mean, just look at this. Ain't you wild? There are so many lessons I learned from this trip, like appreciating the effort of my photographers and videographers because it was really not easy at this point. I really don't know what I was doing. I think I wanted to take a video of me in front, but the focusing wasn't focusing. <laughs> and so this was a side view just before I went inside. Come along, let me take you. Let's see how inside look like. Yeah, so that's the entrance, but then I couldn't capture the security checkpoint because phones are not allowed. But this is how we enter the admission, it looks like. From there, like, I went from room to room, exploring the artwork. Yes, yeah, so this is one of the woven mats. It's usually used by the Muslims to pray. And they have different types. And the quality was just out of the world. Just look at it. 
uh, my videography skills are not the best but I, I think i tried like this is beautiful like i so i literally went to a room full of mats like over mat yeah that i think that was one of the largest mats i saw in the room and the interesting thing about this place is one room links you to another room so you get the opportunity to explore from pictures to books like islamic books in a way tour guides around to give explanations where in a yeah so i was just basically touring the whole place and i had fun doing that this is the fashion room for islamic clothing so that's just one of the clothes yeah there were jackets too and i just love 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 loved every single outfits i saw there and they are all unique Even though I would have loved to explore all the four floors, excluding the ground floor, um, I wanted to be able to visit the other tourist sites or the other museums. So after visiting about, um, I think, three floors, I came back to the ground floor and I explored the side view through this end. And it's so magnificent. Look at this. I think aside the woven uh, mats, this was another place I really enjoyed. Like, I enjoyed this place so, so much for the fountain. I actually walked to Kevin Jill around this place.
At this point, I had enjoyed the place and was heading out to the next place. Or oh, you can safely see, money finish. I clear. <laughs> That's just by the way. So this is me saying bye bye to the Islamic Museum. This place is so beautiful. If you happen to pass through Qatar, make sure you stop by and you will not regret it. On to the next. Let's go to the next stop. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And watch out for part two of this video.